Larissa arrested for aggravated assault, assault of a family member, household member with a previous conviction, assault by impeding breath against a family member, a.k.a. strangulation, and violating his bond slash protective order, and he was denied bond. So what does that mean? Larissa has been denied bond, and he back in jail again for a domestic um, violence charge. I ain't gonna lie. This pretty on brand for this nigga Lil Reese. Now, when he had the, the the other shit coming out, when they was talking about grape, you know, the R word, I ain't believe that. I couldn't believe that. Because I'm like, that don't even sound like up his alley. You know what I mean? Like, then the girl came out and said that she was lying. She was just upset at her friend. So she decided to take it out on Lil Reese, which was like, nah, if you lie on a nigga about some shit like that, I think you should be thrown in jail the same way the nigga sh would have been thrown in jail and his name tarnished. Yeah, bitch, you should go to jail. Period. But that wasn't on brand for Lil Reese. Now, smacking a bitch or beating a bitch up. Now, that's up Lil Reese Alley. Now, when we seen that video of him getting drenched while he was asleep, the first thing he did was wake up and choke him a bitch. Look at it. Chat, the first thing he going to do is choke him a bitch. He going to choke him a bitch or he going to beat him a bitch up. Like, if that happened way back when, what year was that? Like, 2016 or some shit? 2015? We first was getting hip to the nigga Lil Reese and he was beating on a bitch. What's it, 10 years later and it's like shocking to y'all that he be beating on bitches? This sound on brand for him. So, I think... His downfall will probably be the bitches, which is looking like, you know what I mean? Man, Lil Reese didn't survive. Jail, getting shot multiple times, shot in the neck, eyes skint, jump, surviving gang wars, all type of shit. And you mean to tell me the downfall of this man gonna be a woman? That sound about accurate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That sound accurate. It's just crazy because it's like all the all the shit that niggas could be doing, they out here fighting with bitches. I get it though. The bitches be doing too much, you know what I mean? But Lil Reese can't get no excuse because every time we see him going to jail for some shit, it's this guy this what the third time that he didn't either this the same charge and that we didn't know much about. Or this is the third, fourth time that he done went to jail for some domestic violence shit, a.k.a. beating on his bitch. Now, I want to know this, though, Lil Reese. If you keep going to jail behind, if it's the same girl and she keep calling the police, how good is the pussy for you to keep going back to this bitch who keep calling the police on you? I thought street niggas don't like bitches who call the police. That's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. Because all that toxic shit, they be loving that toxic shit. But that this shit, it's, it's on brand for Lil Reese, man. I think it's crazy because Lil Reese has some of the greatest potential coming out. And like now, it's like, I'm surprised this nigga even still make TMZ. A lot of rappers don't make it on TMZ from the shit that they do. Lil Reese still get covered by TMZ. Lil Reese won't drop music. Lil Reese won't drop videos. Lil Reese will do interviews, but not, not like he was in the past. Lil Reese will do all that other shit. He'll hang out in the alleyways with the gang members or stay in Chicago and go to Texas and do all this type of shit. But he won't put out no music. He won't be a rapper. The shit we know him for. This nigga is, he one of them niggas that's really had the opportunity to make it out, could make it out, but refused to stay locked in, which I get it, though. Like, we know his story. He say a lot of his, you know, family still stay in Chicago. Man, 
fuck all that, bro. I'm gone, bro. I'm leaving the bullshit behind. That's why I commend Chief Keith. When you see Chief Keith, Chief Keith was over the bullshit. He's still a gang member, still with the people, got his little crew of niggas. And said, hey, yo, I'm tired of the police. I'm getting the fuck out of here. All this shit that these niggas got going on, bro, I'm not about to go to jail. You not about to have me in jail and I'm Chief Keith. Chief Keith got the fuck on. Once he, once he realized the police was not finna let up on his ass, then you got niggas from the hood stealing from him and all. Chief Keith got the fuck on, bro. That's why I commend Chief Keith. So when you see Chief Keith, you see this nigga doing big kid grown man shit paintballing and shit driving go-karts through his house and you know what i mean putting hot wheel wraps on his car and doing shit like that's the shit we want to see y'all niggas survived gang wars and made it out of chicago or made it to a, a point where you can elevate past that shit man get past that shit little reese so that's what i think like but this is just on brand for little reese one thing we know about little reese little reese gonna be the bitch I don't agree with it, but it's like, it's on brand for this nigga, like, y'all ain't say nothing 10 years ago, for real, y'all said something and still was liking the shit, 10 years later, don't be so shocked, like, some, and then we not gonna act like two, some of these bitches be liking them toxic relationships where a nigga be fighting and whooping on them until they get tired or until they get hit too hard, and now they gonna call the police. So before we rush and jump to conclusions, what kind of relationship is Lil Reese in with this bitch? Or this woman, excuse my language. Is she a toxic, domestic, violence female that they fight, get horny, and fuck? Or is Lil Reese just out here molly whopping bitches? Because this is what he do, and it's on brand for Lil Reese. Y'all let me know. Y'all like, comment, subscribe.